Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 15th of 2021. Well, it is titled Perseid rain. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image, not a single image, but a number of images put together of the Perseid meteor shower from this past week. And looking over the, the peak of the Perseid meteor shower when we saw the most meteors. And you notice that the way it is set up, it looks like all of the meteors are raining down onto the ground. Now, of course, that is just an optical illusion. And they are all very high up in the sky. And in fact, most meteors burn up many miles up into the atmosphere at the edge of space. So once they reach the atmosphere, the friction causes them to heat up and vaporize. And they then disappear, giving us the streak of light across the sky that we see as a meteor or a shooting star. So while we have the two people in the foreground using the umbrella to whimsically shield themselves from the Perseid meteors, of course, that is not necessary, because they never make it close to this point on the Earth, and that's close to the ground. Now, of course, there are some objects that do make it down to the ground, which are meteors, uh, meteorites that actually land on the ground. And those, of course, the umbrella would also not do a very good job of protecting you against because were a meteor to hit, it would be able to crush right through the umbrella. So it could actually go through that it would be coming down, be big enough and massive enough that it would just break right through the umbrella, even a relatively small meteor. But you do get the image of the rain of the Perseid meteor showers with the umbrella in the foreground. Now, of course, as we look around the, me the meteors, we see our Milky Way galaxy stretching up from the edge of the road, almost straight up into the sky. And if you trace all of the meteors back and kind of connect them, you note that they're coming from a region around the top of the image. And this is what is called the radiant of the meteor shower. It is where the meteors appear to radiate from. And that is because all of these little pieces of dust and grains of sand that are striking Earth's atmosphere came from the same comet. And that means they're all traveling through space in the same orbit parallel to each other. And when we look at them off in the distance, they then appear to converge to one point in the sky, much as the way the road here appears to converge and off in the distance, you can see how it seems to get narrower and narrower. Although of course, we know were we to walk down the road that it would stay the same width all the way down. But we see that with the road or with railroad tracks or with uh, telephone poles off in the distance seeming to converge. Here we have the same thing with the meteor path seeming to converge off in the distance. Now you can note down to the lower left hand side, there are also two planets visible in the image. The brightest object that we see here is Jupiter. And that is the largest planet in the solar system. And then we see down and below and to the right of Jupiter is the planet Saturn. Now, if you use the annotations that I have on here, you can pretty easily identify Saturn. Although if you turn them off, it may be a little harder to find as Saturn being smaller than Jupiter and twice as far away can be much harder to pick out if you don't know exactly where to look. Jupiter, Mars and Venus being some of the closer and brighter objects tend to stand out in the sky when we see them. Saturn and Mercury can be much harder to find among the five planets that were known to the ancients. So here today we get to see the rain of the Perseid meteor shower as well as our Milky Way and a couple of planets in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for August the 15th of 2021. It was titled Perseid rain. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Nova visible. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.